Sarah from Emerald Ant. I'm a visual artist and I'm bringing you the first activity from our new pack, Ancient Inventions. This activity is called Paint Like a Caveman. Oh, boy, who did that? Right, where was I? Do you ever feel the urge to draw on a wall? Well, if you do, you're not alone, because humans have been drawing on walls for over 70,000 years. The oldest paintings were found in Blombos caves in South Africa, and alongside them were found ancient toolkits consisting of animal bone and giant shells for mixing colour. Paint is one of the oldest and, in my view, best inventions. And we're going to create paint entirely from nature, just like the cavemen did. We're going to use soil that has formed over many years. It'll be a bit like, hmm, painting from history. Now, this is an easy activity to do at home and you don't need any special stuff. What you do need are a few bits and pieces from the kitchen. So make sure the adult in charge has read the information sheet. What you're also going to need is a bit of patience because the process of creating ancient paint takes a bit of time. Okay, let's start. I've come to this field in West Dorset just behind my house because I think that here I'm going to find some lovely red, rich, crumbly soil that I can make good paint out of. We've got our soil in a dog bag. So what equipment are you going to need? got my soil here, uh, my brad pole crumble, and now I'm going to mix in some water. So I'm going to take it up to here. Uh -huh. So in it goes. Okay, Ooh, bubbling away. Pop the lid back on. All right, I'm going to give it a good shake. There we go. And now I'm going to leave that for two or three hours. And uh, what will happen is the um, fine particles will mix with the water and the bigger particles will float or sink down to the bottom. 
And you can see that on the top we've got a layer of murky water. So what I'm going to do is pour some of that away into this dish here and that's going to go outside. With what's left I'm just going to give this a very gentle stir and you'll see here that I'm not reaching far into the jar because all the heavy gritty bits are at the bottom and I don't want to disturb those but what I do want is the lighter bits at the top and I want them to mix with the water and with that liquidy bit at the top it's going to go into a shallow dish and that is going to sit in the sun for about 24 hours. Let's talk about mark making tools. Our ancient cave painters would have looked around in nature for things they could use such as sticks of different thicknesses, maybe some hawthorn that's got a lovely tight point there for detail and um, you can find all sorts of things to paint with, grasses that you can bind onto sticks and use the sticks as handles. So what we've got here are um, two pots, we've got the Mulhill Brown Chalk, it's very very fine powder and that's going to make a delicious paint. Now the egg yolk um, behaves like a binder and it makes your colour a lot more permanent and you can see that it's a bit like a glaze and um, it goes on really smoothly. So um, egg has been used in art for many many hundreds of years. Um, artists as famous as Botticelli mixed their paint with egg, egg yolk. And um, you might think that these colours are a little dull, but you can get amazing colours from nature. And one of the most famous colours is a deep blue, a lapis lazuli, which has been used by Renaissance painters and many painters all through the ages. enjoyed painting like a caveman and have produced some beautiful images. If you'd like to see them on our website please send them to the email address below. Remember to have a look at some real cave paintings and maybe try and draw the animals using twigs and grasses. And a great activity to do next would be activity number four, Caveman Pulse, 
which uses music to explore the invention of fire. Thank you very much and goodbye.